Hello everyone, CB Craft here in my tutorial world. As you can see behind me is my variable enchantment house. But over here, what do we have here? It looks like some sort of stronghold thing. Oh, look at that! It is a stronghold. So there's an end portal. Alright, let's go in and see what we've got. So we're in the end. Which I may or may not have artificially leveled somewhat. And I may or may not be in peaceful mode. Okay. And yes, today we have an Enderman farm. Which doesn't require bridging out all the way to where... All the way to nowhere. And then building these huge platforms up in the sky to have golf these pistons pushing Enderman off. So what I did, so what's going on here is I basically took Seth Bling's poor Enderman's farm and, and his video will be, there will be a link in the description and probably a caption or something popping up right now with a link to his video and basically what I did is I made it automatic so and I'd highly recommend watching Seth Bling's video because I'm not going to really explain a lot of this part here just really the parts that makes it automatic so but, but basically what we have here is so, Seth Blake had a lever here, which powered the redstone, but you had to manually switch it off right before the endermen were about to die. So, what I've done is I've replaced his lever with a button. These signs are here so endermen won't teleport in, but I'm not sure if they actually do anything. I haven't actually gotten any, any endermen teleporting in here, but I'm not sure if they work. So we've got the button. So button said the pulse of power. So basically what we have here is a power. I don't know if there's an official name for this, but basically it just makes the power infinite from a pulse. So power goes here through the block. The block and this piston are very important. They're what makes this thing automatic. Through the block to the repeater, which is set at a no delay. That's important. And then back to here, where it can then go back through the repeater. And it's an endless cycle. So that keeps the pistons extended despite, in spite of there being a button. So, next we go up here, this, this repeater is just here for extra delay, and we have an, a powered redstone torch, and then it goes up to this redstone torch. Now this next part, is it, you need 188 ticks, I figured out, which is the equivalent of 47 redstone repeaters at 4 ticks. So you could do this anyway. You could just have this big long bridge that comes here and around. You could do what, do what I did and have the different platforms. I did it in this way so I could have this great enderman head right on top of my enderman farm. So, basically, we, this torch goes to this torch which is Basically, so this powers this torch, which turns it off, which turns this torch on. So then we go through this delay. More vertical wiring over there, which goes up here, and then more delay. And then the important part about this delay is when it's all finished, you need to power the piston, this piston, down here here that one so what that does is after that delay 
all of the Enderman are down to one thing, one, one damage thing left, which pow, so then this piston gets powers, push, pushes the block out of the way, so breaks the signal here, and the pi these pistons retract, and now all of the Endermen that are in the trap are one hit kills. Now one of the con one of the negative things about this design is it takes a while for before you can use it again, so you can't just immediately press the button again. The reason being because this wasn't a pulse of power, this was a power stream. You need to wait for all of these repeaters to turn off before to turn off this piston to make the design usable. So now if I go into survival mode Maybe I need it not capital. Alright. So you just look at some Enderman. And they teleport over here. Okay. So we've got our Enderman, push the button. Oh man, that's loud. Hold on. So now we just wait for them to... We just wait for the pistons to retract. I don't know what... I don't know what that guy's problem was, but our he didn't get caught. He didn't get caught. I assume that that guy over there didn't get caught. Okay, so we'll just do this again. To kill off these remaining dudes. this last guy, which I'm just gonna whack with the diamond sword. Okay, and that's that. Uh, hold on. Your automatic poor man's enderman farm. Again, there will be a link to Seth Bling's video in the description. And... Until next time, this has been Simicraft building some cool redstone stuff. What's that thing behind me? Well, see you later, guys. Oh, wait, that wasn't the stop record button.